Hello. Today we will be going over Barracuda Email Security Basic Use for End Users. Today the items we'll be covering will be how to release an item from quarantine, how to check your message logs to see if you're missing an email or to check to see if something was blocked, and how to change your email notification emails as to when you get them. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Once you have your account set up, you will be getting email quarantine notifications. By default, they will come to you three times a day, in the morning, mid-afternoon, and evening just before end of day. That's configurable and we'll show you how to change that at the end of this class. But to start with, let's start with, if I get an email and it's quarantined, how do I release it? Well, it's fairly simple. You simply, when you get the email, you click on deliver, it's going to pop up and it's going to deliver that email for you. You can see it's here, it's been delivered. If I go back to my email, that email will now be there in my emails. There it is. But what we wanna look at is, next is message logs. If I have a message and somebody says, hey, I sent you a message and you don't remember getting it, you can simply jump in here, go into your message logs and you can find that item. I recommend that you start with searching not allowed and it will show you if that message has been blocked. If you've got one that looks like it shouldn't be blocked, you can simply come in here. You can say, oh, here's one from Todd that should be released, but it wasn't. So I can simply click on it there and say deliver. That will also be in your email notifications that you get. So you can just release them from there as well. Something oftentimes is the blocked emails. The difference between quarantined and blocked, a quarantined email is one that qualifies as um, spam, newsletters, those types of things oftentimes are quarantined. The ones that are blocked are ones that are just known bad, come from regions of the world we don't want to be receiving emails from, or have a virus or something attached to them that we don't want. Only administrators can release those, so if you need one of those released, contact your administrator and they'll be able to get it released for you. But for the most part is what you're going to want to look at again is not allowed. Now let's say I need to find out if a particular person sent me an email. I can simply come in here to advanced search. I can say I want to see if I received an email from todd.vip and I'm going to say search. From there, I will be able to see any emails that I received from Todd.VIP. I can see that there. If I wanted to, I could then click on it and just say deliver. That email will now be delivered. Fairly straightforward, easy to use, lots of functionality that you can choose from in here. Makes it really easy for you guys to find an email if it's missing. The next thing that we're going to cover is email notification for quarantine. That was that original email that we looked at. You guys have the ability to change the schedule as to how often you get them. Across the top, you can see the hours. Yes, it's in military time. And down the side, you can see the days of the week. So if I want to get an email template on Monday at midnight, on Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the morning, and on Saturday at 4 o'clock in the morning, I can simply select those boxes and be able to receive email quarantine notifications at those times. I don't want email notifications, so I'm going to delete that. Once you have selected the boxes you want, you can simply hit Save Changes, and it will save those changes. If you guys have any questions or have more need more assistance, please feel free to contact pro-it at teamats.com or contact your administrator. Thank you. Have a great day.